we have to catch up on the one and only. We have to catch up on the one and only. The one and only Lizzo. We have to. My girl Lizzo be eating is so bloody annoying. I don't know how else to put this. So, as you guys know, Lizzo made a post recently where she said she was announcing she was quitting music, right? A lot of people celebrated, <laughs> which is really bad. A lot of people were kind of celebrating like, yay, she's gone. Fuck this girl. She's fucking annoying. Blah, 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 blah. Um, but me personally, I'm actually like her music. I think she's really talented as a musician. Clearly, she can play instruments. She can produce. She can sing, songwrite. It's all over the place. And especially considering how big she is as a performer, she's really good. You watch some of her live shows and she's fucking amazing on stage. Like you, you the, the kind of contrast between her and Summer Walker is fucking interesting because she's probably got more talent in her left pinky than Summer Walker. But Summer Walker is, you know, infinitely more popular and bigger star than she is. You know, whatever reason, who knows what the reason is. But a big part of why probably she hasn't resonated with people is that she has a very unlikable personality, which is really strange because usually people love big girls, right? They're usually kind of bubbly, fun, kind of carefree, whatever. But she has such a bad, you know, reputation online and how she comes across. People kind of don't really find it hard to kind of root for her. And obviously recently it's become more difficult because of the case that's happened with her backup dancers, um, you know, basically you know putting out allegations there that she's a meanie she's a bully she fat shames and she's definitely not the person that people she kind of portrays to be online which i think has done a lot more damage to her reputation than actually anything else because i think similar to ellen DeGeneres, who kind of you know existed a lot on that kind of oh i'm this happy go lucky person hugs 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 even something like oprah as well i think even the oprah thing with, Tar with taraji p henson whatever i think those type of people who kind of rely on being the like happy nicey nicey person when it then re gets revealed that they're not that person behind closed doors it does do a real big number on their kind of you know success or lack thereof because you know it's kind of you feel like you kind of been lied to and um I think with Lizzo, she hasn't really recovered from that still. Even though she did a good job in terms of like ignoring the counseling and just basically, you know, being out there. I think she was the first person to do like a Andrew Huberman where she just kind of kept going out, kept being on social media, like nothing changed, even though there was this massive fucking lawsuit about her, her kind of accusers going and interviewing on TMZ, all these articles. She didn't fucking care. She just kind of kept powering through. But I guess behind the scenes, it hasn't been working. That's probably still in the back of her head, the lawsuits or whatever, um, the controversy around that, the fact that she can't really speak to media without addressing that, the fact that the music isn't resonating, she's also liking it. So she probably needs the attention. So she went online, said she's quitting music, but not even 24 hours later, not even, tw I even said in a clip when I posted it the other day, when I spoke about it on the other podcast, I said, as much as I think this might be somewhat true, it also felt like a little bit of a cry for attention. Like no one's talking about me, I'm not in a new cycle anymore. No one cares if I go out without any pants on, like whatever. No one's even talking about her fatness anymore because that was even a big thing. No one fucking cares. Everyone's kind of moved on from Lizzo. She kind of probably felt like she was out of the conversation. She just wanted to insert herself back in again. It's like crying. So not even 24 hours later, she's already getting online, copying please and trying to clarify what she meant when she said quit. She said quit on the fucking statement. It was pretty clear what she said, but now she wants to clarify and let us know that, hey, I'm not really quitting guys. Don't worry. It's okay. It's like, no one was worried. We didn't care. But this is Lizzo trying to explain to us why she said what she said and that she's not actually quitting. It's fucking hilarious. I want to make this video because I just need to clarify. When I say I quit... I mean, I quit. Get also, girl, what the fuck are you wearing? Did you need to do this clarifying message like this? What the fuck are you wearing? What is that bikini top? What is that makeup? What is that fucking eyeshadow? What is that hair? What is that wig? Like, what is going on? What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Come on, Lizzo. I like you and stuff, but what are you doing? Titties unsupported. Bikini up like, like, what is going on here? Why are you doing this to us? I want to clarify. Like, why are you wearing this and then you're clarifying this? Like, why? Come on, Lizzo, bro. Another, again, attention, like, the attention seeking is just incredible. And the funny thing about Lizzo is that she's actually talented. She doesn't need to do this. Like, oh no, you can do it, but back it up with the music. Like, it's just purely attention seeking. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. But there's nothing to actually show from it. Put out a song. Put out an album. Put out an EP. 
music video, something, bro. No, let me just show you all this shit. Then you go comment on this. Then if people comment on that and they fat shame her and stuff, then she starts crying. Then it becomes a victim. Like it's it's almost like she's giving you bait to like insult her so that she can have another thing to cry about. I'm the victim. Oh my god, what do you say about my boobs? What do you say about my my my, my fucking love handles? What do you say about my face? It's like oh. Get out of here, Liz. I like you, but you're exhausting, girl. You're fucking exhausting. Giving any negative energy attention. What I'm not going to quit is the joy of my life, which is making music, which is connecting. But you didn't say that in a statement, Lizzo. You probably went to... This, this Lizzo seems quite intelligent. She seems like she went to college. She seemed like she got probably good grades. She probably comes from a good family. You know how to use your words, Lizzo. Come on. You're not fucking, you're not fucking Kodak Black. You know how to use your words. You didn't drop out of elementary school. Come on, bro. You didn't say you're quitting because you want to quit bad energy. You said you're going to quit because you don't want to quit music. God damn people. it. Because I know I'm not alone. In no way, shape or form am I the only person who is experiencing that negative voice that seems to be louder than the positive. <laughs> Don't get other people involved. Talk to talk about yourself. Oh, we're all experienced. What are you gonna talk about? You're gonna talk about fucking um imposter syndrome. Oh, I feel like like come on, man. Like whatever. Okay, cool. Imposter syndrome. Cool. We're lonely. Cool. Everyone's lonely. Everyone feels imposter syndrome. What next? Come on, girl. Talk about yourself. Don't like get everyone else involved in your nonsense. Positive. If I can just give one person the inspiration or motivation to stand up for themselves no one's inspired by you you don't stand up for yourself you just cry and complain online you don't stand up for yourself lizzo does not stand up for herself ever all she does is cry and complain and, and, and you know and and go back to being a victim she loves being a fucking victim she doesn't stand up for herself what's she talking about they, they quit letting negative people win negative comments win then i've done even more Sorry, girl. You're too old. You're too experienced to be in this whole negative. You know what the game is. You know how the game is. You know how people troll online. You know, like, you kind of play into it as well. It's like it's like Sam Smith complaining about the comments he gets. I think he's a bit more clever. He's a bit more astute. He's a bit more on point in terms of how to use the internet, how to use clickbait, rage bait to get people. You probably will wear certain things or you probably do a show in a certain way because he knows it triggers people online. And he doesn't really cry and complain about it. He rarely even, I don't think he even posts on social media, to be fair. Like himself, like making statements. That's how you're meant to play the game. Because Sam Smith probably has way more fans than he has haters anyway. The haters are just vocal. But the haters also help to keep him, you know, relevant and in the timeline and in the news cycle. So it's all well and good. You just kind of play the game. Yes, you're going to have some points where you're going to, you know, you're going to read some comments that are probably going to get to you and they're going to make you cry on your pillow. But it's part of the fucking game. It's like a to and fro. It's like a little dance. If you engage in it, you have to kind of expect to get a little bit back as well. It kind of is what it is. But this girl is just like crying for crying's sake. Why doesn't everyone just love me unequivocally? Girl, none of us are your family. None of us are your best friends. We're just randoms on the internet. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not that serious. Come on. Then I could have hoped for. With that being said, I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep being me. Once again, oh, I just great. want to say keep thank it, keep you. It. Yeah, yeah. Don't so, change at all. Don't change anything about you. Don't do any self-reflection. Don't do any fucking internal work. Don't do any therapy. Don't do any fucking whatever introspection. No, no, no. Just keep on being me. Like, yeah, cool. Feelings, me, 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 me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that I've received. Whew. Means more than you know. Oh, fucking hell, man. Lizzo, man. Lizzo. I like you, but you're making it hard to like you. I swear to God, man. You're super insufferable. She is very, 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 very insufferable. Like, incredibly so. And it's hard because she's not somebody where you can kind of ignore the insufferability. It's kind of part of the parcel. You can't just ignore it and listen to the music because the music doesn't never comes. Like, it's just whatever. Like, when's the last time she put out a fucking song? Or a song that anyone cared about? 2022 or something? Like, come on, man. Like, what you, have you just been... Is that what you've been doing in your name? Lizzo's been fucking eating. You haven't been making tunes. You've just been fucking eating. That way, is that what you've been actually doing? Because where's the songs? Where's the tunes? Where's the fucking rhythms? Come on, bro. And look, if you wanted more an example of a lack of rhythm and lack of fucking things, look at what happened straight after that post. Straight after that post where she's trying to clarify what she said about quitting, which she did quitting, right? She said she's going to quit. Now she's trying to clarify it. Straight after that fucking post, look what she posted. 
straight after that post saying i'm not quitting look at what this fucking woman posted then you'll see why this lady is insufferable and why certain people have a hard time liking her look what she posted soon after that post of like i'm not quitting anymore the same fucking annoying bathing suit the same unsupported fucking titties the same awful makeup the same awful fucking wig and look at them hear the message to my yitty haul this is um the plunge one piece let me tell you guys something so that apology or that clarification was to sell these fucking bodies these fucking bikini things of course of course so the whole route the whole the whole the whole quitting thing was part of a rollout to drop these fucking bikinis i'm quitting the whole world crazy uh, the whole world oh yeah thank you go, go away she realized oh shit people actually want me to quit so you couldn't just stall it so she went out clarified it and now he's starting selling these fucking bikinis that's why we got this fucking outfit when she was kind of clarifying our comments the lack of shame the lack of fucking shame the hubris on these people fucking hell bro now she's saying these bikinis that look like fucking kites to people. All right, cool. Like, it is swimwear that really truly has you in there. Uh, the back in is there? <laughs> what? I feel like I can show you guys though. In there? Everything's out there. There's not nothing's in there. You know, like in like I've never, I've never, I'm not gonna lie, I've never understood people who want to wear clothing that just sucks in their fat. You're better off wearing something that fits you and you're comfortable as opposed to trying to make it look like you're smaller than what you are, because we know you're not. We can see you're not small. We can see you're fat as shit. It's okay, but just wear something that makes you feel comfortable, but it doesn't need to kind of like suck you in like you're wearing a fucking corset. It makes no sense, really. I don't, I never, I've never understood that way of like, you're, you're rather of wearing something that fits you, that's make you comfortable, than trying to suck in your fat with like lycra and shit. Let's see, let's see what she's showing on the side. Look, look, she's giving, her body definitely isn't tea. Her body might be fucking, I don't know, hospital coffee, but it's not tea. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the back is cheeky. It's not thongy. <laughs> I love her, man. Her confidence is fucking supreme, though. Her confidence is supreme. Because in her head, like, in her head, she's fucking sweetie. Do you know what I mean? In her head, she's fucking sweetie. In her head, she's fucking... Um, who am I trying to think of? She's fucking Tyler. Do you know what I mean? In her head, she's fucking Shensia. Like, in her head, she's fucking Ari. Do you know what I mean? Like, but God, look at, look at, look at the material. We got the spaghetti straps in the back. Damn, I look good. Like, I know the tankini thing is a thing, but can we also put one pieces back in the ring? Like, Baywatch level, just running on the beach. Running, running. I'd love to see her run, to be fair. To be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if she's crazy athletic. I wouldn't be surprised. She's got that kind of big girl posture and body confidence. Well, it wouldn't surprise me if she's actually crazy athletic. Like, to the point where she, like, she's got a high fucking vertical jump. She's fucking got fast switch from fibers. She can fucking cut up really quickly. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if she's, like, crazy athletic, actually. <laughs> she's actually really good at volleyball and shit, like, freakishly athletic. It wouldn't, actually wouldn't surprise me. It actually wouldn't surprise me. Oh my gosh, I have to save somebody. Jump in the water. I love her. Let's move on to the next suit. We have our plunge in iconic black in this incredible maroon color. And the apology we have our blue. Plunge in this really pretty. And the apology blue. That's the blue that she did her thing. The apology fucking blue. Honestly, man, it's all a fucking roll out. It's so scammy, man. So scammy. So scammy. Deep teal. But let me introduce you to our next suit. The scooped bralette. You know I always have to keep it funky. To be fair, this one looks a lot better than the other one. But still, man, like... With y'all. For, again, for a big girl, just like observation-wise, for a big girl, she's got like very small boobs, isn't it? It's odd when that happens, isn't it? Usually fat girls, sometimes the fat goes to your tits or goes to your bum, but she's got weirdly really small tits for somebody as big as she is. I wonder if that's a good thing. If you're a big girl, would you actually rather not have like massive mummy milkers? Because it helps to kind of like, you know, there's just too much going on there. You have to support it. It's just uncomfortable and shit. Or do you prefer to have really small, like, tits? Or like, you know, is that a thing? I don't know. I always said this was not the suit for me. I always thought that I was a plunge girl because I liked the way that my yiddies looked in it. But after, there's something about this. 
So anyway, fuck Lizzo. Honestly, get fucked. You you sold us a scam. You said you were quite quitting music just so you could kind of come, you know, cr you know, fucking roll out your fucking stupid, you know, fat girl bikinis. Honestly, horrible shit. Your fans should be ashamed of you, to be honest. Using, you know, like basically, kind of like trauma baiting people, right? Tra basically, because her, her fans probably were really upset that she quit music. Maybe she's got a tour plan. Maybe she has some shows coming up. Um, her fans probably weren't that happy when she announced it. And now, come on, bro. Now she's not quitting music and she's putting out fucking bikinis. Now she's what? Now she's trying to be Kim Kardashian. Now she's trying to make what? Not skims. What's she trying to make? Like fims. Like what? Like m mims. What the fuck she gonna be making? Come on, bro. Skims for fat girls. Is that what she's doing? Cool. All right. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Just focus on the music, girl. Just focus on the blood club music. But no, first you're going to music is too much work. Let's cry about nonsense things. Let's cry about nonsense things. Let's cry about nonsense things.